Hello everyone, I just completed the loot table feature for RPG Builder, so I'm going to be showing you how it works. So let's create one together. Let's give it a name, video uh, table one. I forgot to say it, but you can find it in the general and loot table um, section of RPG Builder. So the first thing, of course, well, actually the first and only thing you have to do right now is to add some items to the item list, you know, that you want to be dropped. So let's add, for example, two items. Loot tables can have as many items as you want in them. Uh, but in this case, we will just make two. Um, let's say that we want to drop the trainee axe. In the case that you wanted only one um, one time this item to drop, then you would assign both min and max to one, uh, and it will just. Or I mean, if it does drop uh, with a drop rate and stuff, it will only drop one. But in the case that you wanted more, maybe you know something like random, sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes three, for example, you could assign three as maximum, and it will randomly pick. Um, when the when the loot table is generated and here's a drop rate so from 0 to 100 um let's uh do 80 80 percent the second item we will do the tape and this one will only ever drop once and let's do a 25 percent chance uh to drop we can save that and we will create a new one. So I will duplicate this one. And um, the reason I create a second one is because um, you can have multiple loot tables for uh, mobs and things like that. So we will try with two. So let's call it this one video table two. And here, instead of the axe, let's make maybe staff. And let's make it drop up to six times for 100% chance, so we are at least sure that we can see uh, some items. Um, and the second one, let's make it drop the helmet, and only one, and maybe a 10% chance to drop, and save. So now all you have to do uh, is go to combat, NPCs, and assign these loot tables to whatever NPC you want, uh, you want it to be dropped on, right? So uh, if you go to the NPC section, you go all the way down and you have loot tables here. And um, you can just add once again as many as you want. In this case, we will add two. And here you select the loot table. So you can start with, uh, for example, the table one. And uh, something to note is that items themselves have a drop rate that we just assigned um, a few seconds ago. But loot tables can also have a drop rate. If you wanted this loot table to always drop no matter what, uh, then you would assign 100 here. But um, you could also decide to have this loot table only drop dropping 50% of the time or less, right? So in this case, we will do for this one 50 and for the second one 100. And let's assign the table 2 here. Now you just have to save. We can now go in game. I'm going to be creating a new character, the mage. I'm going to be learning um, an ability so that, you know, so that we can kill um, the mobs. And so the loot tables uh, we just assigned are on those dummy targets. So let's kill one. So this is how it works. Uh, actually, let me maximize that. Um, when a mob is dying right now, or an NPC, it's uh, if it does have loot, if if uh, when generating the loot table, no items were dropped, then there won't be any bag on the ground. But if there is some items that got dropped, then you will have this little loot bag on the ground. And if you right click it, um, you will see the, the loot. So if we open the inventory here, uh, you can either drag and drop this item directly in your bag and you know you will get it the loot uh, the loot bag will disappear if it's empty and uh, let's kill another one this one well, you see in this case we got six of them you can also right click directly this uh, item uh, i mean this loot slot and it will loot all of that for you 
And of course the inventory will take care of stacking and so on. So let's keep killing this and see what we get. This time we got an axe and a and four staff again. Staff and axe. And just staff. So we didn't get lucky, we didn't get the helmet, etc. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. I think that's pretty straightforward. Later, I'm probably going to be adding a feature like loot all. So in one button, you can get all the items. Um, but yeah, that's pretty, you know, complete. Uh, and of course, those items you can now equip and um, just use like any normal items. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.